All right, let's do a end of day review for today, which is Friday, twenty third, two thousand twenty three. It's the fourth week of June. Uh, next week will be the last trading week of June. So this morning we see that we have a bearish bias and we try to short the markets. Um, but it not work out the way we want. And also there are a possibility that um, Thursday will be a um, reversal day for our weekly profile, right? So if you have Tuesday and Thursday, Dow day, then um, Thursday will be a reversal day. However, this week a little bit tricky because it's a four day trading week. Um, so it's very tricky to trade. And also we noticed that for Tuesday, uh, which is a first day of, of the training week, and Monday is a holiday. And Wednesday, even though it go down, but it not sell in a panic mode, it's very strategic. So the algo run in a very tricky way, even though we try to engage um, short position, but we have to make sure that we wait for the right time, otherwise we're going to get stopped out of the trade very easily. You see here at, let's look, let's take a look at the four minutes, four hour time frame, we can see that right here. So we can see that Tuesday. You see, it's going down, right? Wednesday, it going down, but it don't give you much, you know, entry at all. If you look at the four minute, four hour time frame right here, right, it, it go down and then it pop up again. So if you put a trailing stop, you get stop out really easily, or if you pick a uh, entry per you know entry position it not perfect and tie stop lot you get stop lot automatically so it's very tricky and that's what we see so far on, on this week so to me it's look like the algo or the market maker they are try to sell them but they sell in a very transition in a you know uh, strategic way in a very method I mean in a very um, um, methodist way um, that it's very hard for us to get engaged we have to know exactly where to engage in order to be a successful in order to be successful in this market that what we learned so far uh, this week so our experience is that we're going to use ICT and DR model um, to engage in the markets and we only trade on Thursday. So that's our experience for now. We will expand this experiment uh, uh, experiment. We want to expand this experiment, uh, experiment further in other day of the week later but for now we just stick to our rule uh, our rule is just we engage in Thursday only the reason why we try to do Thursday only because from our observation we see that um, the high of or the low of the, the week is decide you know after 
Tuesday and, and Wednesday. Similar like in the intraday profile, we see that after 10.30, the high and the low of the day is decided by the time frame. We, are, we try to apply the same principle into weekly. So we see, we observe that after Tuesday and Wednesday, we, we know uh, pretty much with the 80% or 70% probably the, the high of the week or low of the week. So we, we just started trading and we're still learning, right? So we pick Thursday, give up a high probability um, to engage. So, and our target is just one dollar move, and we will risk at most 20, 25 cents to 50 cents. So, it's going to be one to two ratio or one to four ratio. Risk and reward ratio. Okay, that's the four. Let's go back here for hour. Let's look at the the one hour time frame to see um we see anything that tell us something are you three monitors so it kind of to sweep through to see what where is the my one hour time frame okay here's the one hour time frame right here so we see how they how the algo manipulate right you see it hit the it take out the buy sell liquidity last thursday and friday it start going down but it's going now in a very systematic way and it, 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 you have to be wasp carefully so you can identify opportunity otherwise you get stopped out like I, I mentioned earlier so you see um, in a one hour time frame give you the more picture how it's, it's tricky you see very tricky all right if you show earlier right you get stopped out stop out sorry yes yes stop out if you put a stop out too tight and then about in the PM section it start going out so the same playbook that I'll go run right here right if you should try to show on uh, Tuesday right you know we look at the VIX and and the school we say wow it's it's time to short them uh, but if we not to the right time we will feel very frustrated you see start from pm sex and it, it go now but it doesn't give you much you know uh leverage to hit your target at all you see if you engage at uh the pm section are you gonna hold the trade at the close right here? Not much movement. Or you hold overnight? If you hold overnight, you have to take profit right here. Otherwise, it's gonna come back and it will shake you out right there. I mean, the same thing happened on on Thursday, and and, and same with Friday, right? If you jump in and short right away, uh, you get stop out. You short right here, you're gonna say stop out. So from this pattern, we can see that algo, um, algo that run the markets run in a very you know efficient way because it want to engage, it want to sell right. In order to sell, it have to match the 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 buy order. So who gonna buy they sell? They should have man manipulate the liquidity in order to induce the people going and buy it so they can sell it. You see, the money right here. So we want to sell, want to buy, they can sell it. The engineer right here, buy it so they can sell it. Engineer buying right here, sell it. Buy right here, sell it. 
by right here engineer the um, buy sell liquidity and then they sell it yeah so that that what we are so today for Friday if we can see that the sell sell liquidity private day taken then we can take a long position right here but we have to have a a target you know to exit safely otherwise if we hold a trade too long we have to, we paid up right very tricky right there and this morning i believe that we did set up the target right here for our first uh, long position um yeah but we never stay long enough to hit our targets right let's look at this morning in the note in the journal we take this tree it's called a long setup right we have no it's privileges uh, taken or push uh, our target will be private day open right um, that's our right here but actually the the target we call, before that we have is a high time frame you know 15 minute time frame right here and it did hit this at 12 30 right there and you see that if we don't set a target right if we stay we become greedy we hold it too long we, we pay right right there we start going down after in the pm section let's look of 15 minute time frame right here not 15 um i'm sorry five minute time frame uh, give us some idea um in here time from any time frame we based on the dr model right here right we have the implied dr and this is the dr so we can engage right here when we know that after you know 10 30 we know the high and the low of the day but the tricky right here that right here is close above the dr high so that give us the idea that according to the r model that it gonna go up and reach at least um 0 0.5 standard deviation but in this case it reached 1.0 of standard deviation so right here it gives you a perfect so-called retirement setup right there that means it pull back all the way to the bottom of the er and then it go up again that's the DR model we can mix with the, uh, the ICT concept right here is the auto block right here right the very big auto block at 945 and you, you can see that it, it break away it moved away from out of that auto block and it retests that auto block so if we engage right here our entry gonna be the implied DR right there and now our stop block gonna be five cent below uh, the low of the day. Then we have a huge run right here. So let denote this. And we'll take this one. So I think 11.25. The bottom so why we're going to go along right here uh, because based on the DR model you see it's a bullish signal for the DR model uh, for the DR model then when it go back and retest the DR bottom or the low we can engage 
and plus with the I uh, you know the ICC concept right here so we engage right here long position and also it Ving became one of our group of engagement we only engage when the liquidity were purged or taken um, in this case the buy side of liquidity set side of liquidity taken uh, the previous day low were taken then we can safely engage and it's very safe right here because it retests the auto block so it's extremely high probability, probability set up for us right there so we have to be patient way right here if we engage right here up right here right here we're gonna get, get stop out so patient we're gonna pay but up right there because our goal is very smart with very efficiency that's just up to uh right there so we we make mistake if we are engaged too early we got stop out or we got second out because we, you know either we got stop out or we got second out our, our trade right there so that's here 120 so if we follow the liquidity run right so we can set our target I mean from this perspective you can see there is a volume imbalance right here or volume void right here and it exactly come in and, and, and feel that so this it can be our target right there Wow, you can see that give you a very and it confluent with, with the 15 minutes time frame right here also so our target should be around here so we can reach the target right here it exactly hit this volume imbalance or volume voice right here thirteen forty it will go down start going down so let annotation right here Thirteen forty. And top. Fourteen thirty right there. So that's more than one dollar move right here. Y yeah, one more thing we need to pay attention right here retest at the over 930 for the level only pay attention of a 930 open level is one of the key right there first so we see our entry point right here perfect it confluent on three things right the dr model the ict concept and the open at 930 give it a confidence so it's a very good setup for us and our target is perfect right here the volume imbalance right there so that is a beautiful setup for us it's just one long trade right here even though the overall is bearish but we can take advantage of this move up move right here but if we want to trade the source setup then we can still do that because this is our so-called resistance level right so we can play a limit order right here as soon as it hit uh this we can put our entry right here and stop out right here then we still have a good run and our target gonna be right here at open uh, 930 right there so we have two trade one long and one short it's just 
doesn't matter we choose the time that we, we engage and the location. So for the long setup, we choose the location is around 9.30 open and a, a retest of this auto block and also a DR a concept at the, the low of the DR right there. Okay, let's take a screenshot of this. So, put in our journal right here. So, our setup right here, what do we want to see right here? Okay. Our setup right here, what you call if we use the ITC, I mean ITC concept, it will be the auto block, right? Plus, we don't see any fellow gap right here, but it just seems it's equivalent to a fellow gap retest. So it's like keep it the same verbiage that we use retest. But in this case, we also combine with the D our model right and this is a long setup let's put up here give it more space to annotate them so the R model long setup and it make our it validates our true engagement which is set side liquidity which is private day low or liquidity will push and open on our interest to us is for entry is the own 30 entry time for us is 11.25 I mean if you treat this as a so-called turtle soup you also make the, the turtle setup right there and the time frame also and especially in this area right in this time frame from 11 to 1 p.m. yeah so the targets for it in this tray the targets for us. The targets for us gonna be yeah volume imbalance and x6 time for us x time for us is thirteen forty Yeah, it's a right here first. You see, this is an auto block. This is the entry first, right? And then this is our target. Okay, this is the the long setup first. Oh man, it's a beautiful and trade right there. So we're gonna put right here, right? Auto pop, fail very up, retest, and also DR model. The DR model also, and the DR model is a so called retirement setup. 
is similar to the ICC Unicorn, which is very high properly trade and also give you a uh, high, you know, very good rich recall ratio. And in this case, it's a long setup. And on M5, five minute time frame that we we try on. So let's do that. Right, and we do one more annotation for um, for a short setup. So basically, in, in, in a range day, we, we can have both setup. We could do long and we could do short. And you can see in a range day, you see it's the 930 open is very critical. It's just bouncing around that. You see, it opened right there and it closed, I mean, exactly right there. It's around there, not much different right there. So if we trade on the, you know, range day, basically on Sunday, on Friday and Monday, that's how it bounced. But that's our scope, what our model right now, our focus right now is on Thursday because we anticipate a, a big move for us. So it happened to have a better, you know, win rate and better risk reward so we don't Get stop our help our trade or not meeting our targets. So okay, let our short trade is this right? Short trade is very accurate, right here, my friend. The short trade is that whenever it hit the volume, volume imbalance and we know that it's bearish the pattern the, the last two three days is that it, for the pm session it will go down and also here it give a the vindication file rule of engagement which is by seller will be taken into a point of interest location which is the volume imbalance right there you see we take out the query right there so we can engage we can put a limit order in here and our stop lot right here and tell our target gonna be uh open at 9 30. but however it is how is this it, it is a concept is that you we want to see any so-called Uh, is any auto block, auto block of barracks? Oh, we, we can see right here, right? It's just auto block, fair value gap right here, or this huge displacement, and now it's the retest of that. So, yeah, that's, that's the setup right there. Okay, we found our setup. So, let's do a annotation right here. So annotation right here. What do you call that? I basically auto block right fair value gap retest and um, is a a short setup. Okay, and um, it make our rule of engagement, which is buy side liquidity taken right and we're gonna engage short okay and also we have volume imbalance you act as uh, resistance for us so we, that's where we enter it right our entry Time. Uh, our entry time going to be 13.40, right? What our X6, X6 time? What our X6 time? Mm, hold on. Okay, I 
the oh it's actually some it's right here when he 1445 which should be good enough for us we duplicate this one oh actually it also check the cell solidity if you we want to do that but that go conservatively for this target the over 930 so it could be 12 14 45 which is 245 14 45 and it will be at the bottom first right? So basically we have two targets one is over 930 or a buy side liquidity right here i mean sell side liquidity here oh okay let's add it a tick note let me copy it for now and let's this is for now okay let's do a swing shot for this right so we can put into our journal and right here basically we call it auto block fair very up we test a short setup okay the point of interest for uh, let's say entry time wait right? it meet our requirement which is by side liquidity second and plus it hit the bottom in balance our entry time gonna be oh come on oh, we forgot to annotate this time let's remove it again thirteen forty What's going on? I forgot to duplicate this one. Thirteen forty. Thirteen forty. Sorry, I. Uh, we. Ah, uh, yep. So I'm gonna be beautiful. It's a beautiful trade if we, we, we are able to do that in the real time. Okay, let's do it again. So it's all the block. So very good. Or fail, you know, the same concept like fail up or volume imbalance or something like that. Basically, it's a displacement. Uh, the change in the state of delivery of algorithm. In this case, it manifests, manifests itself to a volume balance or a fair gap. But basically, it's a chain state of price, price delivery. That's ICC uh, terminology right there. It's a long setup. Oh, from this one, I keep say long setup. So, setup. And the rule of engagement for us is the buy side liquidity taken and plus column imbalance okay. right when actually the volume imbalance it, it, it releases twice oh, we can say retest very popular right there. So our entry time is 1340. Now x 
x time closer from five. You see, uh, it's just our time is just going to be open nine thirty. Okay. Oh, so silent really. We we have that option also. is retest twice and our target will be over here that's beautiful tree so the annotation right here with all the block retest and in this we don't we, we don't follow the DR model in this setup so oh, man. I don't know keep this long so. Um, M five. So we use M five in this case. So good on M five. So good. We have two trade. We get in there. We would do it in the real time. Right now we are practicing, but we're practicing enough. We will get it. I think that's it for this rebuilding. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for now. Good night and good luck. Bye bye.